Hello YouTube, MES Religion here, and I'm back again with another video. So, of uh, as you can see, I've changed my YouTube thing to MES Religion because I think um, it's not just about transfers anymore; it's much bigger than that. So let's get straight into it. So, uh, Manchester United play Barcelona on Saturday at 9 p.m. British Summer Time, and that's one o'clock or one p.m. Um, in um, in America, well, in wherever they play. So. Let's get straight into this. So, all eyes on team selection for Barca Clash. Now, obviously, there's a lot of uh, words here. I'm not going to be saying all of them, but I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to be saying some of them. So, all eyes on team selection. Manchester United manager Louis Van Gaal will reveal his assessment of players' performances in training and during the opening two international cup champions fixtures, international champions cup fixtures, when he names his starting lineup for the match with Barcelona on Saturday. Whew. He has carefully been analysing his options. Um, he utilised two separate outfield selections in each half against Club America and San Jose Earthquakes. So that's full, one full XI in the first half and another full XI in the second half. Um, Van Al hopes David De Gea will be fit against to, to be played against Barcelona. And ooh, what else is there? So let's just see what Van Al said. So. Van Al said we have to improve our shape and of course our level and we have different organisations so we have to play with different organisations. Also we have to improve on every level that we have in all positions and of course I have to select now already for the third match against Barcelona. Now 11 players can play 60 minutes and that's a big difference. So the next match I will show you already what I find from the first two matches because the players have to prove the level on the pitch. So basically um, Van Al saying here is that he wants to assess his, the players' performances in the first two matches of the International Champions Cup, which was against Club America and San Jose Earthquakes. And the teams he played out, he was going to assess each individual performance and then build a team that played the best, with that has the best chemistry as well. And, you know, start that in the starting lineup for 60 minutes on the pitch. Now, basically, what I think, what I wish to see, I'm not going to read these teams because I want to make my own team. I wish to see um, David De Gea in goal, right back Dormy and left back Luke Shaw, centre back Smalling and Jones, Blind. I don't think I like Blind in centre back position. Um, I may be wrong, but that's my opinion. Um, Blind's too weak. He's too slow. Um, he can't. He can't ahead. Um, he's not a good centre back. So, so Shaw, Jones, Smalling, Darmian. Then in midfield, if Van is gonna go with the four four one one formation. Then I'm going to put Schneiderlin and Herrera because I think Schneiderlin and Carrick are two similar of players to play together. So we need Schneiderlin and Herrera. Herrera and Schneiderlin are completely different players in terms of Herrera's that, you know, that passer, technical, technicality. And Schneiderlin looks for the long balls, the pinpoint accuracy. And Schneiderlin, both of them are box to box midfielders and they both can get tackles in. That's why they're both good in centered, uh, holding midfielders. Then left mid, I'm going to drop Ashley Young and I'm going to go with Andres Pereira. Andres Pereira has played much better than Ashley Young whenever he's played and that's why I want to stick him in the team in left mid slash left wing position. Andres Pereira is amazing and his goal was really good. It was a neat finish and um, his ability to take players on, you know, he's, he can anticipate stuff. He's good at, he's good got pace, skill, everything. So I'm going to put Andres Pereira left mid and right mid I'm going to stick with Mata. I think Mata played good. Um, he's played actually exceptional. I think he's been underrated a bit, but Mata's played exceptional in, in both halves that he's played um, in, against Club America and San Jose Earthquakes. And he's obviously got a goal to his name as well. And Mata's, you know, he can link with the Rara Schneiderlin and it'll be quite good because Mata always drops in as well. So that's going to be quite good. Obviously, I'm going to stick with Depay in the centre forward role slash Cam. And uh, up front, I'm going to stick with Ray Wayne Rooney because uh, Wayne Rooney. Because although he's, I don't think, in my opinion, very, uh, in my opinion, Wayne Reed's not played good um, in the matches, and I don't know why, but he's been, he looks so sluggish compared to the other players, and whenever he's got this first touch, has been awful, but hopefully he can, you know, improve on that. And obviously, wait, you can't drop Wayne Reed; he's our club captain. Um, he's gonna get first team play next season anyway, so you know, Reed is that like man. So, anyways, let me know what you think. In the comments below, please like this video and subscribe for more. See you later.